Today she calls Trebecha home, though it was in the village of Bergville in KwaZulu-Natal that a young Zanele van Sale looked to new horizons. Watching her mother cook soulful recipes would go on to define her choice of career, but not before she took on a very different line of work. I started as an IT technician, and then later I decided that cooking was actually my passion, cooking was actually my calling, cooking was actually what I loved doing. I enjoyed cooking every time I chopped onion and started smiling. This cookbook, I keep saying it's a love letter. Uh, the title is Saint Lila Godwa. It says, have you eaten yet? I care about you. I see you. You are one of me. Come and enjoy the food that I pray with love. And the recipes in this book are still the day-to-day -day cooking. So everyone is accommodated in this book. It's either you're a chef, it's either you love cooking, you're a mommy, you are a bachelor. Everyone who loves being behind the stove will enjoy this book. So today I'm here at the exclusive books to sign some few copies because people always love to get the signed copy. It feels like they had a touch of an author. So I always love and I prefer signing my copies. So to say to people, it is signed specifically for you. Enjoy it. <laughs> Sharing her mother's nature, Zanele's eldest daughter, Tando Hadebe, is looking to be an innovator in the film business. I love spending time with my daughter. She's, she's no longer staying at home. So when she's this side, we always do anything that's going to keep us together. <laughs> so I am a fresh, fresh somewhat graduate. I've just recently completed my honors earlier this year. I'm staying in Doberg. I miss home. <laughs> yeah, so it's really, really great to be home. I miss my sister, I miss my mom's food. <laughs> I miss my dad's jokes, so it's really, really great to be home. What I like the most about Kobeja is that it's a small town. It's not so busy, there's not a lot of traffic. It's just 10 minutes drive everywhere you want to go. My daughter's school is around the corner, the gym is around the corner, the airport is around the corner. Everything you need is just 10 minutes away. <laughs> She's a really cool mom. She's really chill, she's really easy. It's very easy to have conversations with her. She's very relatable. She's fun, we do a lot of things together. She's a fun mom. The other night she made such a healthy meal. I was like, I could have made that. <laughs> yeah, she makes everything so delicious. Everything is so warm. Everything is so flavorful. Like, everything just tastes so good. Sometimes she makes such fancy meals and I'm like, girl, can I just have a bup and stew? <laughs> but her food is just generally quite flavorful and I really like a tasty meal. Tando's timing was excellent and she had her choice of recipes from her mom's new book. Zanele was in no doubt which one to cook. Welcome to my kitchen. Today we're going to make a risotto because it's my daughter's favorite. I want to treat her today. She's home and I always want her to feel special. We're going to make risotto, lamb chops, and we're going to make their green salad. They all three from my new cookbook. To make risotto is very simple and straightforward. Of course, first you're going to heat oil, add in some onion, garlic, some fresh thyme, I like cooking it with its stem. I believe all the flavors are concentrated there by the stems. i pour in my risotto. Now I'm going to add in my vegetable stock. And now I'm going to add in my white wine. I am tempted to taste, but I won't. I know a lot of people ask me, what can you substitute wine with? Please do not worry about alcohol. Once it gets heated, it evaporates. Just add it, it adds that sour flavor. Once your onion is sauteed, you add in your mushrooms. Now we're just going to cover for about 12 to 15 minutes or until the risotto is nice and soft. While my darling daughter is busy grating the Parmesan cheese, I'm gonna start prepping for the lamb chops. Put garlic, lemon juice that you can just squeeze from your fresh lemons and then I've got the herbs. And I'm going to mix the mustard with wine and pour it over the frying chops. How I decide on which recipe makes it into a cookbook, 
It's very interesting. I, I always say I get inspired by my followers on social media or my family because what I post, I always check what they like the most. And then I know that the recipe must go to the cookbook because I already know that it will be very well received. I love lamb. I love anything lamb. I love that the lamb has its own flavor. That is why I like every time I cook lamb, I don't overpower it with spices because I still want to taste that lamb flavor. And this is the recipe that I'm holding on the cover of the book. Let me bring you guys into the secrets. My mom loves her space in the kitchen. <laughs> so it's like, it's nice to be around and help. Although she really does enjoy it when I cook, like maybe when I make a meal for the family instead, then she'll just sit on the couch and watch me. So, but this is fun. I'm learning some tricks. I'm learning how to cut a kiwi, which is like almost tricky. And it shouldn't be. <laughs> so, but yeah, it's, it's nice to be here. I am making one of mom's fancy green salads and in this green salad we're going to base it with rockets then we're going to add some kiwi and then some green olives <laughs> and then we're going to top it with sliced apple it looks really tasty looks quite healthy but really really tasty and to finish off the green salad we're just going to add over a homemade dressing now it's time to finish off the risotto with our cream and parmesan cheese. My cooking is all about simplicity, delicious, easy, and not daunting. I always teach people uh, to cook tasty, easy, healthy meals, which um, don't have to be daunting and it, it's a day-to-day -day cooking it's nothing too fancy but it's something that you can just use with what you already have in your pantry or what you already have in your fridge which makes your life very easy and you'll find that my ingredients are you can always repeat them with another recipe because I don't want people to go out of the way to go source ingredients I want to keep it simple but tasty that includes doing the brying when the weather is good Though Chef does have a taste for the sophisticated. What is next for cooking with Zanelle? I would love to go and work in the French kitchen. I would love to, at least six months in France. I just want to learn a new skill, just to understand how they do their cuisine, because I'm really, I love the French cuisine. So I would love to go work in their kitchen, at least for six to a year, but I still have to negotiate that with my family. <laughs> <laughs> The meal is uh, really, really great. It's not too rich. It's just the amount of flavor, just the amount of cream. I'm really enjoying the salad. It's a nice and light salad. It's a beautiful day in the bay. So the meal is really lovely. We're enjoying it outside and it's, it's beautiful. What brings me joy in life is to see my brand growing from where it started. It started very small, it started on social media. Today I'm a cookbook author. And also to see my family happy, it brings me joy. As much as Zanelle Fonseil has to learn, she also has plenty to teach. Here's to some tasty Afro-French fusion cooking just over the horizon.